Thor's Day, season seven, leg bomb, hip flex, more balance, and the reverse grip protocol. And I'm thinking that probably one third of what we do in the workout will be a reverse grip. And it's just something to work the muscles a little bit differently instead of, for example, doing a bench press with your hands around the bar like this, we do it like this. It's nothing new, it's nothing innovative in the big picture. It's just a different way to build the muscles. Maybe we'll hit muscles that we don't hit if we do it the most common way or the most popular way. It's similar to taking the lunge squat to the extreme by raising the, uh, the leg a little bit higher. That's what the winter season has been about thus far with just a little bit of bulking in the beginning to, uh, to get us set up, to start us on our daily gym adventure. And with that, oh yes, Noxoma Life Camp coming soon, coming very soon. At this point, we're also headed for a little break. So, Let's get into this episode, I'll tell you more about what's going on after this message. You don't have to be a marketing or sales guru to know that one of the most successful marketing strategies on the planet is the reward system. And the same thing will work for you, especially if you are an athlete working out in the gym, exercising, trying to lose weight. Whenever you reach one of your goals, give yourself a reward. Give yourself something like a massage, a new outfit, or whatever, as long as it's not something that's going to counter what you're trying to do. For example, when you finally lose that 15 to 20 pounds, don't celebrate with a meal. Celebrate maybe with some jewelry if you're into jewelry, or some clothes if you're into clothes, or a trip, or something like that. Something that helps you to move to the next goal and makes you feel satisfied and proud at the same time. So get yourself in the habit of making goals and reaching goals. And when you get close to the one goal, set another goal. And remember to take time to celebrate yourself, give yourself gifts and rewards. That'll keep you going. It's part of the self-programming. There's one of those fitness tips for you. One of those goal-reaching tips. Good luck, gang. Casual Thor's Day. Super power, exotic shoulder work day, too. Let's get in to the work. This was kind of a new school, old school Thor's Day workout. We started with legs as usual wide stance up on the dumbbells raising a dumbbell up and down and then we went into the back and chest yeah that's the ticket I almost forgot we hit the bench did bent flies and um, and close grip dumbbell press Here's the list. You guys are going to need the list today because I can barely remember what the heck I just did. 
Let me get myself together. There wasn't so much of a leg bomb today. We started with legs and we finished with legs, leg curls. And I think that leg curl finish really did us in. <laughs> the main event was high chest and shoulders and the reverse grip. We did seated reverse grip military presses. We did reverse grip dumbbell presses from the floor in a bridge position. And we did the high, the elevated lunge kneeling shoulder presses. This is a crazy workout. It was crazy, but functional. It wasn't like internet or TikTok crazy where you see some guy uh, leg pressing a vehicle or anything like that, you know, or jumping off of roofs. <laughs> Not that kind of function. So that's a wrap. Let's call it Mega Thor's Day. Everything that we put into the mix, put into the cake today. Thanks guys. As usual, appreciate you. See you next workout.